Demons among us. Demons among us. What is a demon? Where do they come from? And why should I be concerned? In the book of Isaiah, Old Testament, you should read it. Chapter 14, verse 12, and down. How have you fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are you cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations? For you have said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit in the mount of the congregation on the further side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet you should be brought down. Also, this message is not one that's going to make me popular. This message is not a feel-good message. This is a warning. A warning to myself. A warning to you. Second Peter, verse 2, chapter, excuse me. Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 4, and down. For God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment. Skipping down to verse 9. Read it all. Then the Lord knows how to deliver godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. If you're not living for the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going another way. If you haven't given your life, your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going another way. The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Jesus paid the price for our sins on the cross. All other religions, you're going another way. You're going another way. We have to be careful, folks. We have to be careful because the Bible is the living word of God and every word is true. Lucifer fell from heaven because he thought he was better than God and he was going to do things our way. We want to do things our way too, don't we, folks? I've been there. I know. I still have the fleshly nature. I want things my way. I get that. But we have to submit under the Lord Jesus Christ or you're going another way. When this world is done and we're getting close, the devil and his angels, they're going to an everlasting punishment. And if you're not careful and if I'm not careful, we're going to join them. If you don't want Christ, if you don't want Jesus in your life, He's not going to force you to want him. He's not going to make you want him. You have choices, folks. You can accept the Lord Jesus Christ and what he's done for you. Or you can go another way. Think about it. Think about it today. God don't want that for you and neither do I. <laughs>